Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today I thought I might show you the process of putting together my Sunny Days Bunting. This was a project from Tilda Club number 28 here in Australia. Um, but a lot of the stores actually have the pre-printed uh, panels so you can stitch your very own bunting blades. There are seven on the panel. Uh, two of the blades, I'll just show you through them very, very quickly. So you get that gorgeous little teapot full of flowers. This is the Sunny Days one with the rabbit. Now you actually get two of this one and I have stitched mine the same. Um, so you get two of those. I'm going to pop one of those on either end. You also get the little pot full of flowers, which is a lovely one as well. This one's a little topiary tree and I have just stitched the little hearts in a satin stitch on that one. That's a cutie. This one's my favourite. Flowers are Mother Nature's jewels. And um, yeah, it's a truly beautiful block, that one. And my heart feels at home in the garden. It's the final one. So there are seven of those. I've taken the uh, blade shape. And what I actually did was I photocopied one of the pre-printed panels onto cardboard. You can see there. And I just chopped it out. And that's what made my template so that I could um, cut the fabric to match. So when you get your panel the actual shape is there and you can just cut your little blades out with the shape um, and so I'm going to put a couple of plain blades in my design as well so that they will go like that and just move that up a little bit for you so you can see so I've cut two blade sets um, it's got parlan which is a fusible wadding you can use whatever wadding you want behind them um, and then of course just a plain back and I'm just going to sew them all together with the right sides together I'm just going to pin them and we're going to sew all the way around the blade so all the way around here and then I'm just going to clip the curves and then turn them in the other way and then I'm going to um, make a fabric piece of tape to put along the top and what I've done is I've just cut two strips of fabric two and a quarter inches wide by the width of the fabric I've just cut two and I'm about to join them so if you don't know how to join bias tape together you do it on a right angle like so you draw a triangle from the corner of the fabric underneath so this piece here this piece here so you're going to go from that corner right through to that corner then you're going to snip your seam and then your bias um, will be joined there on an angle so that you've just got a continuous piece of tape. So this is going to measure about 2.2 metres um, by the time I've finished it so I'm going to stitch that and the same thing with these blades I'm just going to, the stitched blades, I'm just going to put the stitchery down like so and then I'm going to put a fabric one over top same thing I'm just going to stitch around all three sides, clip the curves and then we'll, we'll, we'll I come back and show you how that's looking and how I'm going to put it together. Now just in case you wanted to know, the fabric that I'm using is one from a few collections ago. It is from the old Rose collection. So there it is there and it's called Lucy Red Rose. Um, and these are the colours here. If you wanted to coordinate threads or whatever with them, I didn't bother. I've just done the threads in the colours that I liked, but they're very, very close to the colours I used anyway. Um, but when I bought the kit um, from Tilda Australia, it did come with some fabrics from Happy Campers. But because I'm hanging this in my studio, and my studio is decorated in shabby tones, shabby floral tones, I just wanted to, to use just the one fabric for mine. But I will come back and show you my bias tape and how you iron that to get it ready to put on. Um, and I'll also have all of my blades sewn up for you and um, I'll clip the curves and turn them in and then we'll just show you how to put it together. Okay, there we go. So all of my blades for my banner. Uh, sewn. I snipped um, around the curves on the seams and then I've turned them in the right way. Got my blanks there as well and then I've just given them a nice press just to make these edges just nice and crisp 
you can see there that they look nice and crisp. And I've also put together my banner top. So this is that piece that I measured at two and a quarter inch. What I did was I folded it in half and ironed it. And then I turned both sides over to that fold. So you can see here, that's what I did. So the bits are just folded over. And then I folded it over again and hot ironed it with a steam iron to give it a really good finish. And then up in here is the area that we're going to insert our blades. So I'll get one of these ones and show you how how that's going to go in. So you will lift up your bias tape that you've made and then you're going to insert your banner piece in there like that and then just simply get them all pinned in and then sew down all of your, your banner and then the whole lot's done. So what I've done, I've got nine all up. I've got the seven stitched ones and then I've got my two plain ones which I'm going to stagger. I found my halfway point which is um, where I've got my join. So that's my halfway point. So my middle um, blade I will centre over that halfway point and that's just to make sure that I'm going to get an evenly balanced banner. So that would go like like this for instance. So that's it. So I'm going to go and put it together um, and then at the end of this video I will show you it on the wall. Catch you then. And there we go, it's all finished. Hanging proudly on my wall in my studio. Absolutely love it. So let me take you in a little bit closer and let you have a good look at it. So we have the first sunny days block there. And then we have a blank. And that beautiful vase of blue flowers. They're so pretty. The topiary tree. And this is my favourite block, so I made this one the centre block. So that's looking pretty cool there. And we've got our little pot of flowers. And then this one. And then another blank. And then we've got the last sunny days. So there you go. So I know that Fiona from Two Green Zebras is going to get the shop owners who are stocking this panel to comment on the post in the group on Facebook. So it's the Tilda Lovers group on Facebook. But if you are trying to find it, you maybe want to Google Natalie Bird, who is the designer, Sunny Days Banner. Um, maybe the word panel as well, because it actually comes in a panel of seven pre-printed stitcheries. So anyway, there's mine. Absolutely thrilled with it. So now it's on to my next project. I'll catch you next time. See ya.